Hey everybody, it's ZM, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Last time we arrived in Zora's Domain, and things aren't looking too good here, as the regional phenomena that is here is causing sludge to fall from the sky, dirtying up the water and the domain itself. So let's see what we can yes. do to help him out with that vile sludge. Uh, I'm so sorry. Everyone has been treated now, but we've used up all the splash fruit. There were more injuries than anticipated. Please accept my apology. Uh? You have nothing to apologize for. You did what had to be done. Most importantly, I'm grateful that everyone is alright. Now, if you can only do something about that statue... You there. Are you a traveler? I am sorry that I didn't notice you until now. I was focused on a matter of great importance. Zora's domain is in troubled times at present due to the sludge falling from the sky. Things have finally calmed down, at least for the moment. However, this place remains covered in sludge. Such a shame, as this particular statue is so incredibly important to the Zora of the Domain. We were just discussing how we need to wash away the sludge. I apologize that I cannot provide a great deal of hospitality. Please do make yourself at home here. Alright, let's help him out with the sludge covered statue. Now we do have a splash fruit on us, which is needed to clean it up. And in Breath of the Wild, this was Mifa's statue. But yeah, as you can see, it has been replaced with Sidon and Link on his back. Let's uh, check it out. Whoa. The sludge! I see you managed to wash it away. <laughs> that statue is a symbol of hope for the Zora. It is very precious to us. Thank you so much for cleaning it up. Yes. In truth, that statue depicts the majestic forms of the pair who saved this cherished domain in the past. Ah. That is right, beloved Prince Sidon of the Zora and his very best friend, Sir Link, the heroic Hylian swordsman. Ah. It is simply wonderful, is it not? How I would love to meet him someday. Say, you have a similar statue to the Hylian hero. Similar eyes as well. Oh my, and you're also a Hylian. And a swordsman? Wait, could it be? Yes, Fishbrain, I'm the swordsman depicted on that statue. <laughs> Are you Link, the swordsman of legend? Oh? Ahem, please remember to mind your manners, Chroma. Oh, oh um, please accept my apology. Yes, please pardon our rudeness. Whoa. I am quite surprised to learn that you are the legendary swordsman, Sir Link. I have heard mention of you nearly every day since I first arrived at this domain. I am Prince Sidon's... Oh, forgive me. I am your best friend's fiancé. My name is Yona. <laughs> I am truly honored to have the opportunity to meet you, Sir Link. Yes, it seems like Sidon is engaged to Yona, caretaker of the Zora. I had heard that you were missing along with Princess Zelda. If I may ask, what brings you here? I'm here from the present to the past so you may kiss my ass. To think that such a thing took place beneath Hyrule Castle, and now you are traveling the kingdom to investigate? So your search for Princess Zelda is what brought you to this domain? Sure. In that case... Feel free to investigate the area around the domain as thoroughly as you see fit. Oh, I have a lovely idea. <laughs> if you don't mind, I ask that you please go and meet with Sidon. I am certain that he would be delighted to see you. Sidon can be found at Mifa Court, located at the peak of Poimus Mountain. Lady Yona, it is time. I fear we must be going now. Forgive me, Sir Link, but I must be on my way. Ah, but if it pleases you, after you have met with Sidon, perhaps you could visit me at the infirmary on the floor above. I am determined to be of assistance to you as best I can, Sir Link. 
So yeah, we have met Sidon's fiance, which honestly was a shocker to me the first time, as I always imagined Sidon to prefer Link over anybody else. And I mean, he even replaced the statue of Mifa with the statue of Link riding him. So yeah, but let's go ahead and check out the artwork of his fiance, it being Yona, as she was a royal Zora from another domain, which is very interesting to think about, as uh, yeah, we only know Zora's domain to hold the royalty of the Zora, so there must be a completely other domain somewhere out there, whether it's in Hyrule's kingdom or a completely different land on the world that Hyrule inhabits. Uh, it definitely raises a lot of questions to say the least, and even though Yona has tasked us to make our way to Sidon, we want to speak to her again as we can actually pick up something pretty valuable. And don't worry, the Mipha statue hasn't been completely replaced. We'll find it real soon, but first, let's go ahead and speak to her as she seems to be healing Azora. So let's see what's up. Phew, the sledge really is quite stubborn. I dearly hope our patients recover soon. Lady Ona, Sir Link is here at last. Oh. oh, you really came. How fortuitous. I was hoping to speak with you about an item that you entrusted the domain with repairing. Your Zora armor. The repair is mostly complete, but it does require just one more thing. I need an ancient arowana. I can finish the armor right away if I can somehow acquire a scale from that fish. We have not seen ancient arowanas around lately, and I have no idea where they can be found. Hmm, since they are used for making armor, Dento the blacksmith may know something about how to get one. If you find one, can you please bring it to me? Do that, and I shall fix your precious item at once and return it to your care. As you well know, the Zora armor allows even a Hylian like you to climb waterfalls with ease. I'm certain it will prove useful to you. Please do not forget my request. And so we are tasked with restoring the Zora armor. Now we actually picked up one of these ancient fishes from the very first video in the Great Sky Island, as you can find it there. But also Whoa. you can find one near Zora's domain, as it's actually right by the Mipha statue that's gone missing. So let's go ahead and give her the one we have, and then I'll show off how to get the other one later on. Mm. I am so honored to reunite you with this item, dear Link. Yes. Your armor is as good as new. Yes, we get the Zora armor back, the one that was originally created by Mifa for Link and was given to him in Breath of the Wild. Now it's restored, and it's kind of weird to receive it from Sidon's fiance, but anyways, let's see what she has to say. Please, take this along with our well wishes. I'm so happy that I was able to return it to its pristine state. It is a precious piece of armor, after all. As you well know, the Zora armor allows even a Hylian like you to climb waterfalls with ease. Yeah, you already said that. Of course, it will not help you with climbing waters that have been tainted with sludge. <laughs> However, with your great skill, Sir Link, I am certain you will find a way up that waterfall, clouded though it is. Whoa. Please use this well for your investigation into Princess Zelda's whereabouts. So with restoring the Zora armor completed, we can now do as she said and swim up the waterfall up to Ploymus Mountain and reach Sidon, similar to what we did in Breath of the Wild when swimming up the waterfall with the exact same armor. But let's say you don't have the armor yet, as you do need that ancient fish that she's talking about. Well, we can easily glide our way up Ploymus Mountain by finding either the tower or the shrine, which I do want to backtrack to, as I did forget something in the last video. So let's go ahead and do that first, and then continue from there. So, there are two reasons why I made my way back here. One is to reach Mipha Court by gliding from up above, but the other reason is something I completely forgot in the last video. And that is while completing the sphere that had a shrine within it, I just jumped immediately down to Zora's domain because I was uh, wrapping up the video but as you can see yes I completely forgot that on the bottom half of the sphere there is a secret and the best way to do this is to make sure that the opening in the sphere is in the center of the top and bottom half of it that way you can reach the bottom half with the opening that we just went in through and get ourselves a sage's will so with that done now let's go ahead and make our way to Mipha court 
Um, if, you know, you did have this already done and you wanted an easier way to reach me court from up above, you could always use the tower to launch you up as well. But either way, we're high up enough that we can easily glide our way to Mipha Court. I do want to stop at this island here first as we can pick up something else real quick and then we'll make our way all the way there. Obviously, again, we could have just used the waterfalls to swim up Ploymus Mountain, but again, if you don't have the ancient fish, you wouldn't be able to do that. And um, yeah, instead of heading all the way back to like the Great Sky Island, there is a much easier way to get it. As in Mipha Court, we can actually get our ourselves a fish that will give us the ability to create the Zora armor thanks to Yona Sidon's fiance. But yeah, there happens to be an old map here as well, so let's make sure we pick it up. And uh, there should be one last thing that we can get on this set of islands all the way up here. Let's just grab these splash fruits. Says obviously they are very useful for the regional phenomena happening here. But yes, there happens to be a Korok seed as well. Let's go ahead and quickly dive and grab it as soon as possible so we don't waste time trying to pick it up because from here, we're gonna make our way to Mipha Court. And from here, we can easily reach the top of Mipha Court as it won't take too long to glide from here nor consume too much stamina. And uh, it's essentially a top of Ploymus Mountain as they have completely remodeled the mountain, making it Mipha Court. And I absolutely love the redesign and how they pretty much pay tribute to Mipha with this entire area. It looks so amazing. And if you are wondering what happened to the Mipha statue that was located in Zora's domain in Breath of the Wild, uh, yeah, it has been relocated here. Pretty funny because, you know, Sidon had to replace it with uh, Link riding him. But, I mean, this obviously is a way better tribute to her as she has an entire area dedicated to her. And I absolutely love the vibe of this area. So, let's go ahead and drop down to Mipha Court. And, yes, gaze upon the statue once more. As this literally gave Link memories rushing towards him in Breath of the Wild. Uh, it's nice that it still exists and hasn't been completely replaced. But yes, if you were wondering where the ancient fish was, you can easily find one just like that. And now we can make our way to Sidon. Uh, obviously, if you didn't have the Zora armor built, you can easily do that with the Ona. But we have that done. Let's go ahead and speak to the man himself, that being Sidon. It's been a long time since we've seen him, so I'm pretty excited to finally reunite with the man, Sidon. Let's go ahead and see what he's up to. Is it really you? <sighs> it's good to see you, my friend. Link, it's been far too long. I've received word that you had gone missing and was beside myself with concern. Whatever could have transpired? Zelda went from the present to the future, the future to the present kiss mask. No! To think something like that could have taken place beneath Hyrule Castle? And afterward, you mysteriously awoke on a sky island? Hmm. The sky. Could it be that the sky is the key to everything after all? Ah. <sighs> My apologies. I have actually been wondering if those floating sky islands could be the source of the falling sludge. That is why I have tasked a Zora historian with investigating ruin fragments and all historical documents related to the sky. As for me, I am not at liberty to leave this spot at present, as I am uniquely qualified to deal with the sludge here. You see, old friend, this place is the source of the water that flows into Zora's domain. That is why I must use my power of water manipulation to separate the sludge from our water in order to clean it. If I cease, then the sullied water will flow into our beloved home, and there will be much pain and suffering. That is why I cannot afford to leave here, no matter what. Hmm. Say, Link. Does it not seem that Princess Zelda's whereabouts might be related to the floating sky islands and the ruins? <sighs> if so, 
Perhaps you should go and speak with our historian Jado. His many years have blessed him with great wisdom. It is quite possible that he could provide you with some useful information. At present, you should be able to find Jado continuing his investigation at Toto Lake. By the way, I hope you know that I am truly happy to see you again after such a long time apart, my dearest friend. Visit me anytime you like. Your presence is never anything less than welcome and appreciated. Alright, I welcome and appreciate you too, Sidon. But anyways, as you can see, he's back at work separating the water from the sludge with his water bending techniques. And we got ourselves the artwork of Prince Sidon looking pretty badass. But anyways, with that done, let's go ahead and make our way to that Zora historian that he was speaking of. But before we do that, as you can see, there is a shrine up here. So might as well take that on real quick as it will give us easy access to come back here as well if we please. Luckily with the Zora armor, we can easily ride the waterfall uh, if we so desire but speaking of water yes we have to throw a splash fruit to open up the uh, activation point of the shrine and now we can take it on so let's do this so I do believe we're going to be introduced to a completely new concept of Zonai devices within the shrine. Yes, that being the midair perch, as we can literally suspend these platforms in midair. And uh, if they aren't activated, as you can see, they will just drop down and gravity will take them. But if you do have them activated, yeah, they will just indefinitely stay suspended in the air, which is super cool. And there are many ways you could solve this. I'm just going to go ahead and ascend my way up like that. But you could have just made a staircase with the platforms slowly heading up I feel like this is a much easier and faster method I really do love the concept of these platforms as there's so much versatility you can use with these and we're gonna pretty much put that to the test here so as you can see there's no way I can jump to the other side with these but yes thanks to this if I place it on the floating platform it should create a bridge without having to reach the other side and just like that we can easily cross now uh, I don't believe there's another platform up ahead here so let's just go ahead and reuse the one we just used and I don't believe I have to alter it in any way as it will continue floating so if I go ahead and slant it um, to have it bring me up like this it should easily do the job yeah, it is so cool how these platforms work, and again, we're going to find insane uses for them. Actually, later within this video, we're going to be introduced to a completely different concept on how these work, and um, yeah, I'm excited for them, to say the least. But let's just finish up the shrine. I'm going to go ahead and plop this on to one of these platforms, and yes, send it flying just like that. And let's do the same for us. Um, that would probably be the easiest way to get to the other side, so just go ahead and leave it like that. And then have this piston launch us like so. Wee! <laughs> yeah, I love it. The speed is insane. But okay, with that done, and now let's just complete the shrine by dropping this ball into the slot it needs to go in. And you know, let me just shake this like that. That way it disattaches, losing the gravity advantage that these platforms have. And just like that, we have completed the shrine. But yeah, like I said, usually with these shrines, when they introduce a new mechanic within the game, we're going to later on find a lot more to do with it. And yeah, trust me, I can't wait when that time comes. But for now, let's just go ahead and complete the shrine. And then we can continue on our investigation for the people of the Zora as uh, yeah, we got lots to do. So from here, let's make our way to Toto Lake, as according to Sidon, there is a Zora historian that will be able to help us out. And Sidon will remain here in Mifakor as he continues to purify the water from the sludge, as yeah, we really gotta help him out and save Zora's domain. But I absolutely love what they've done with Mifakor and the music that plays, that subtle Sidon theme. It sounds so nice. But anyways, let's focus on the objective at hand. And that is, again, to make our way to Toto Lake. As you can see, it's not too far from where we're at. We've already been there in Breath of the Wild. It's not a new location, kind of like how they redesigned Ploymus Mountain to be Mifakor. No, Toto Lake has existed in Breath of the Wild and has been a reference to the Zora. Uh, actually for those who don't know Toto was the leader of the band the Indiegogos from Majora's Mask 
uh, which I found really cool how, yeah, he has a lake <laughs> named after him in this game, even though the events that happened in Majora's Mask may have not actually happened within this game, or if they did, they are so far in the past, it's crazy how his name is remembered within a lake. Um, overall, I do really like that. There are so many areas within Zora's Domain and its region altogether that have references to other Zora. Um, but for now, let's focus on Toto Lake. As you can see, it's no longer a lake. Yeah, it looks like crap. It's filled with sludge. We can barely even see the water as it's completely muddied out, as you can see, from the murkiness of the sludge. But... Yes, this is where the Zora historian is lying, and he actually is trying to decipher an ancient stone uh, slate, but uh, as you can see, the slate is missing a part of it, and believe it or not, yes, it can be found right next to him. All we need to do is throw a splash fruit on it, and just like that, we can use Ultra Hand to fix it, as uh, that's all we need to do for him. Um, you could speak to him now, and uh, he will mention that, but let's just do it now and then speak to him and then carry on. So yeah, with that, he can now decipher what's going on. So let's go ahead and see what's up with him. Hmm, such dignified presentation. Yes, I see it. The writing resembles waves upon a stormy sea. How fascinating! This ancient stone slate must have been written by our Zora ancestors from the distant past. How heartbreaking that I cannot read it in this state. Hmm. Actually, buddy, you can. I fixed it for you. Ah, Link. My apologies. I was deep in thought. In any case, I have news. I have made a monumental discovery. Ah. This is undeniably an ancient Zora stone slate. Better still, upon its surface there appears to be text regarding the sky. However, the slate is broken, and so I am unable to read it in its entirety. I deeply wish that I could view the full text. Alas, I fear that my fins are tied. Bruh, like I just said, I fixed it for ya. Hmm? You fixed it? Well now, look at the gloriously repaired stone slate. You have helped me immensely, Link. I cannot thank you enough. Aha! The time has come! The historic text is mine for the reading! Stand upon the land of the sky fish, and behold its lofty view. Among the floating rocks you see, a droplet waits for you. Through this droplet, shoot an arrow with the mark of the king. Do this task, and you shall reveal a most wondrous thing. See the watery bridge's resting spot with your own two eyes, that which connects the Zora to the people of the skies. <gasps> this is an extraordinary discovery! This important text actually tells us how to journey into the sky. Mm. Hmm, though in truth, that mystery just leads us straight into another. One difficulty has been overcome, and yet another has appeared in its wake. Mm. As it mentions the mark of the king, Perhaps it would be prudent to consult King Dorfin. I assume that he will be returning from his investigation of the sludge shortly. So with the broken slate not so broken, we were able to decipher the text needed to figure out what to do next. And well, yeah, that wraps up the broken slate side quest, but so opens up the clues to the sky, as now we have to go ahead and locate the king of the Zora, King Dorfin, and see what the mark of the king may entail. Now, we don't actually know where he is. As he said, he might be coming back from his investigation that involved the sludge. So let's go ahead and see how we can find him. Now, obviously, the first area you would look is in Zora's domain on his throne, of course. You know, that is where the king usually is, you know, sitting upon his throne. So let's go ahead and check that out. Obviously, what I'm going to do right now isn't necessary if you already know what to do, but I do want to show everything off and pretty much how it's meant to be solved. So let's go ahead and, yeah, just play dumb and head back to Zora's Domain. And wow, you don't notice how dirty it really is until you get up close. But yes, as you can see, he is missing, and there happens to be three Zora kids. King Dorfin, Super Punch, and Super Kick. Ha, hey -ya! I'm so big and strong. Wah ha Oh no, I got beat. The sludge is so yucky. Uh, you got me, you big dumb monster. There's no other choice. I'll have to hide in the secret spot. And that spot is... Hmm? What's up, guy? 
We're full up on folks who are allowed to play our King Dwarfin game. Ah. We can't keep playing with you here, so take the hint and scram! So as you can see, these kids are reenacting what has happened to King Dwarfin and even know where his secret hiding spot is. But since it is secret, they are not going to tell us. So we have to figure out another way. Now, obviously, with us walking within the throne room, we'll immediately be caught by the kids. But let's not forget Link has a few tricks up his sleeve. Literally, as it's uh, through his arm, <laughs> that being ascend. Yes, let's go ahead and ascend up and literally be in where the king's throne is. And from there, there's no way they can see us. And just like that, we can listen. I did it, but the sludge is too thick and gross. I have failed. My king, King Dorfin, I'm pretty pleased. Um, oh, what if you went to that one place to hide? Hey, come on, do it right. That didn't sound like him at all. I'm trying, but I can't play Muzu and the monster. Not all by myself. Oh. Hey, I've been wondering forever. The secret spot where King Dorfin is hiding. What kind of place is it? <laughs> I know, right? I asked King Dorfin about it once. Ooh. Um, he said it was a pristine sanctummy or something. Oh. Pristine sanctummy? So I guess it's a spot with clear water? Somewhere you can get your tummy clean and stuff? But these days, most of the water around the domain is all yucky because of the sludge. Mm. Oh, oh! I've heard there's clean water flowing somewhere between Ploymus Mountain and the domain. And there's supposed to be a secret entrance behind the waterfall too. Mm. How cool is that? <gasps> a secret entrance behind a waterfall with clean water, huh? That sounds pretty amazing. <laughs> yep. Hey, wait a minute. Muzo told us we could never tell anyone. It's fine. No one's listening. Anyway, let's go through our game again. This time with feeling. Uh, can't we play something else? Okay, well, to the surprise, someone was listening, and that was me. But, um, yeah, according to these little Zora kids, they are hiding in the pristine sanctummy. <laughs> that is a really funny way to think of it. But, okay, before we search for this pristine sanctummy, let's go ahead and get ourselves a quick heart container since we are sitting on enough light of blessings. So, why not? But, yeah, of course, this pristine sanctummy is uh, kind of an indication for something else. It's, it's a sanctum, essentially, not a sanctummy. Uh, it, though it is hilarious how they, mi they misinterpreted it for that and how we're supposed to kind of figure things out by what they said. Now, the biggest giveaway, of course, is it being behind a waterfall. So let's go ahead and look for it. And luckily, the first waterfall that takes us up Ploymus Mountain happens to be said waterfall. So yes, we're going to go ahead and reach the waterfall all the way there and then uh, check out what's behind it. As obviously we can swim up it with uh, the Zora armor, but we're not going to do that. We're here to see what's behind it and if we can find King Dwarfin. As for some reason, he's hiding in the pristine sanctum. <laughs> Yeah, okay. I don't know. To be honest, it's such a funny concept. But okay, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and head up here. And this is the main reason why I didn't bother doing it uh, earlier on, because we were going to do this regardless. So it might as well, you know, tackle it in different pathways, you know, one gliding up the mountain. And now we can actually swim to the top of it. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, start swimming, actually. And I'm going to kind of hug the corner here. So you know, we aren't pushed too far back from the waterfall as the current is pretty strong. But yeah, don't swim up. Make sure you ignore that option. As you can see, yes, this is the fabled pristine sanctum. -y. Yes, it's the sanctum. That's what it is. The pristine sanctum is what was hidden behind this waterfall. Pretty, pretty dope. But okay, let's go ahead and now... Swim our way up, and yes, as you can see, there is King Dorfin, but he's not looking too good, of course. Uh, let's go ahead and speak to him. Gah! Who approaches? Is that you? So it is, Link. Uh -huh. How did you find this place? What cruel ploy are you plotting? Hold, my ever-loyal Muzu. If you speak in such a way without explanation, Link here will only be confused as to what is going on. Dorfin, King of the Zora. It's good to see him once again. Hello, Link. It's been quite some time since we last spoke. I have received word that you went missing along with Princess Zelda. 
Why have you come here? Well, as I've been telling everybody, the present and the future and the future is the present kiss my ass. Well, well, to think that such a thing should transpire for the hero of Hyrule and Princess Zelda. Huh? You expect us to believe that Princess Zelda simply disappeared just like that? Do not sully our ears with your lies. I saw Princess Zelda with my own eyes right after the phenomenon at Hyrule Castle took place. Calm yourself, Muzu. Link's eyes betray no hint of deception. He remains a trusted friend of the Zora. There must be an explanation. Link, I will now tell you what happened when I last saw Princess Zelda. As well as the reason behind my seclusion here in the pristine sanctum. <coughs> I mean sanctum. Oh. We encountered Princess Zelda just after Hyrule Castle ascended into the sky. Floating islands appeared as if from nowhere. Sludge and fragments of ruins began raining down. Muzu and I had left the domain to investigate these strange occurrences. That is when it happened. Princess Zelda descended from the sky accompanied by a sludge monster. What happened next took us by surprise. She then unleashed the beast upon us. <sighs> King Dorfin valiantly vanquished the threat. However, he was gravely injured by the sludge during the battle. As for Princess Zelda, she vanished without trace. Uh. If word got out that Princess Zelda lost her mind and harmed the Zora King, the resulting turmoil would be devastating. That is why we are temporarily remaining hidden within the pristine sanctum. I mean sanctum. Uh. According to your story, Princess Zelda disappeared suddenly in the depths beneath Hyrule Castle. On the other hand, she suddenly appeared near Zora's domain and unleashed a monster upon us. The waters of truth have become murkier still, but from the Zora perspective, one thing is clear. Hmm. It all leads back to the sky. Oh. This disaster, the sludge, the monster, and even Princess Zelda. It may be that the answer to these riddles can only be found skyward. Sidon ordered Jado, a historian well acquainted with ruins, to investigate. I wonder if any progress has been made. Yeah, I helped that old fart out and he led me to you. <laughs> ah, so you have already spoken with Jato. You say that the mark of the king was mentioned on the stone slate that was restored? Hmm, indeed, I do know of it. The mark of the king refers to the Zora King scales. One of my skills, in other words. Oh. I have heard it called by the name you have mentioned in an ancient ritual. However, none remain who know how to use it. If this particular skill of mine may prove useful to you, by all means, take a few. There is no need for restraint. This is as nothing to me. If you run out, simply return and acquire more. <laughs> and yes, it seems like the king's skills were the marks of the king that are needed. After all that has transpired, and after much reflection, I have come to a realization. I must truly be getting on in years to have allowed a mere monster to catch me off guard. Perhaps the time is nearing for me to pass the title of King on to Sidon. <sighs> King Dorfin! Hmm. In any case, that matters for another day, after the chaos surrounding the sludge has quieted. Please inform Sidon about my situation and about the King's scale. Tell him that there is no need to worry about me. Tell him that he must go forth and do what needs to be done. And yes, it seems like we have gotten more clues to the sky, that being the mark of the king, being the Zora King scales. And, well, let's go ahead and report to Sidon, but before we do so, let's check out the artwork of King Dwarfin. As you can see, it's reflecting his current state with him beat up. Uh, I find it really cool how that is the case, but believe it or not, it will be updated when things aren't looking too grim for the Zora and its king. So, while we can make our way back up Ployman's Mountain through the waterfall that's outside, there actually happens to be a waterfall right behind the king's throne here in the pristine sanctum. -y. So, we're going to go ahead and make use of that, but as you can see, there also is a secret uh, bubble 
frog that we can easily pick up a bubble gem from because yeah I guess the pristine sanctum kind of acts like a cave of sorts where it holds a bubble frog so definitely worth picking up before we continue on but with that done now let's go ahead and swim off there we go I was waiting for the um you know, action to be prompt as, yeah, we have to be next to the waterfall, though what is nice is if you are already gliding within the air, if you reach a waterfall, you can easily just start, um, you know, swimming up just like that. There we go. That's a great example to show off what I meant. Yeah, as you can see, Link is immediately um, swimming up the waterfall the second he touches it, um, as long as we are gliding, which is pretty nice. We don't have to actually hit a when needed but anyways there we go within seconds we have made our way all the way back up to Mifa Court and now we can update Sidon about what's going on as yeah he definitely must be worried about his father so oh. ah that is the Zora armor it really is perfect on you I have no doubt that it will help you in your search for Princess Zelda yes speaking of have you found anything yeah the king was in the pristine sanctum man <laughs> What? You say my father was attacked by a monster? And that Princess Zelda unleashed it upon him? What could that possibly mean? Well, for now, I fear all we can do is take my father at his word and try not to let our concern overcome us. Mm -hmm. Link, thank you for telling me about my father. Mm. Princess Zelda descending from the sky, not to mention the monster and that filthy sludge, it seems our course is skyward. We now know that the mark of the king written of on the slate refers to my father's skill. The only remaining mystery is that of the land of the skyfish and the floating rock in the shape of a droplet. Stand upon the land of the skyfish. That must be referring to an actual location of some sort. I am sure that if we locate the land of the skyfish, it will lead us to the floating rock that is in the shape of a droplet. Link, if you find any leads, please let me know at once. So the next clue is the land of the skyfish. And well, where is the land of the skyfish? Well, it happens to be right next to us. So the way you want to find it is, well, open up the map. And as we know, it is a land located in the sky. So not the surface map, but the sky map. And if we zoom in real closely, you'll notice that, yes, this island here in the sky is literally in the shape of a fish. So that is essentially what we need to do. Make our way there. It is as simple as that. Uh, you wouldn't be able to tell from looking at the island from down here. But yes, thanks to the map, we could tell that it's in the shape of a fish. Now, obviously, the easiest way to reach this island is to use the Zora armor and just to swim up the waterfall. Obviously, there are other methods. We just saw a uh, rock fall from the sky that we could have used to recall our way back up. But... Of course, this is the best way to do it. So let's go ahead and swim all the way up and uh, yeah, figure out what to do here in the floating scales island. Obviously, we're going to be using the king scales uh, here. So the name is pretty fitting. Uh, all the rocks that are floating throughout it will start to make sense, at least a certain amount of them. So first, let me throw a splash fruit to clear way here. And then I want to stand right here. And you may notice that, yes, some of these rocks, if you stand in exact you know location with an exact angle towards it you can see a droplet yes this is a teardrop that we're looking for and what we need to do is use the mark of the king that being the king scale right directly into it by shooting an arrow with it attached to it just like so and by doing so yes we have now solve the puzzle and this is essentially the gist of the um riddles and puzzles we had to do with Sidon so with this completed we are now done and we can go ahead and report to Sidon but look at that I love how this puzzle works and how you're supposed to view it from a certain angle like overall this is such a cool concept it reminds me a lot of Ocarina of Time with shooting a uh, arrow into the sun to get the fire arrow. Instead, we got the clues to the sky completed as we shot a water-like arrow that holding the king's scale. But okay, with that done, and again, really cool concept how we're supposed to make out that droplet within the sky by standing on this. But before I leave, there's something else I want to get. And that is, well, there is a secret here. If we go ahead and remove the sludge that happens to be uh, blocking this area here 
we can actually find something that we aren't really meant to find at the moment as there's a side quest leading to this. But yes, this is where the Zora Helm is located. And uh, we can get it now, of course, but uh, there is a side quest for it. So we want to make sure we trigger that later on. Let's just pick it up for now as I obviously want to get it so I can rep my Zora outfit. Sadly, the Greaves we won't be able to get just yet as the area we are heading to holds them, but uh, you're unable to do it until after a certain part throughout the game but don't worry we're obviously going to get all the uh, armor and outfits throughout the game and complete the zora set eventually but okay with that done let's go ahead and make our way down as you can see the beam of light is over at the east reservoir lake where varuta used to lie in breath of the wild and let's go ahead and let sidon know what has happened and yeah like i said this is pretty much the end of the riddles when it comes to the clues to the sky so Let's go ahead and update Sidon and his fiance Yona. Mm. Lady Yona, it is far too dangerous for you to be here. Yes. Darling, I came here because there is something I need to speak with you about. I have been thinking for quite some time. Hmm? <sighs> oh, hello there, Link. <gasps> what has happened, my friend? Did you figure something out? Yeah, I solved it. Now what? <gasps> You solved the ancient stone slate's riddle, and a pillar of light appeared? If the words upon the stone slate are correct, a path to the sky may open up if we investigate that location. Oh. Well done, Link. This is a huge development. I see. <laughs> My dear Sidon, I think that you should go with Link to investigate that pillar of light. As I was just about to say... For a long time, I have been concerned that you are holding yourself back and not acting as freely as I would have expected. But my love, if you and Link join your powers, I am certain that you shall be able to overcome whatever danger awaits. Hmm. That is undoubtedly true, however. Uh? Whatever is troubling you, Sidon, why are you hesitating so? I... Mm. it is simply that... Huh? Yes, I don't like this, as this is a sludge-like ambusher of Mipha Court. That monster is covered in sludge. Could it be the foul beast that harmed father? Sidon, we can take care of the water, at least for a little while. Do not fret about the domain. You are right, as ever. It is up to you, my lady. Link, please. I must ask that you fight at my side once more. The beast is protecting its body with sludge. It is a mighty opponent, certainly. But we must not falter. When an opportunity presents itself, call out to me. I shall use my power to envelop you in water, thusly shielding you from our foe. At that point, you may shoot forth the water as an attack by swinging your weapon. Yes, we have Sidon's power of water by our side as Sidon has joined us in battle, which is so dope. And now we have to take out this sludge-like. And all we need to do is have Sidon's power of water with us. Okay, we'll be careful, Sidon. So, yeah, as you can see, once we attack it with the power of Sidon's water, we're able to remove the sludge from it and then easily go to town on its weak point just like so so yeah this is essentially how we do it pretty simple pretty easy as you can see it's essentially just a normal like like but with sludge around it and thanks to Sidon's water we're able to easily make quick work of this sludge like you know me i don't like 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 nor these sludge likes i mean if anything i hate these way more so let's go ahead and use this weapon here to do way more damage on it not bad oh and i love how Tulin is also putting in the work if anything Tulin is putting in more work than sidon but we gotta thank sidon for his power of the water as you can see yeah with the slash of water we're able to immediately get rid of that sludge and now let's go ahead and finish off this like like so here we go let's dish out the last bit of attacks just like so you did it link Take that, foul beast of the sludge. Is everyone all right? 
We are unharmed. Thank goodness. Lady Yona, if something had happened to you, I... <laughs> In any case, it is possible that another monster will appear. I suggest that you return to the domain at once. Thank you for the sentiment, Sidon. However, more importantly, we must consider what Sir Link spoke of earlier. The pillar of light that he said appeared at the reservoir begs to be investigated. This may be our opportunity to learn the cause of the sludge falling from the sky, or even Princess Zelda's whereabouts. Yes. Leave this place to us, dearest Sidon. Your friend needs your help getting to the bottom of this mystery. Mm -hmm. Well, of course it would be best for me to accompany him. However, I cannot leave you alone in this dangerous place. <laughs> Did you not entrust this task to us already? We will not be on our own for long. We shall be just fine. Mm. But, <sighs> Sidon, my darling... I truly appreciate that you worry so for my safety. It speaks to the kindness in your heart. But you are the prince of the Zora. One day, you will lead the people of your beloved domain. I can see right through you, whether you want me to or not. You are wielding to the fear of losing someone you love again. You must overcome your past and face whatever the future holds with courage. But I... Come now. Enough is enough! You are not acting like yourself. Hey now. You must leave this place to me. Jeez, Sidon is whipped. Sweet Sidon, do not get lost in the past. You must keep moving ever onward. Just follow your heart as you always do. Like my old self. Like I always yes, yes. do. It is all right. I swear it. I'm not going anywhere. I see. And there it is. Clear as day. I was giving in to my fear for once more losing someone I love. I... I... <laughs> you are right, Yona! I will not give in to this fear, nor forsake my trust in you. I leave this place to you, my love. <laughs> Off we go, Link, to the Pillar of Light. I shall blaze on ahead, my friend. It seems Sidon has finally put his doubts behind him and returned to his usual fearless self. I am so glad. All this time he was clinging to regret over being unable to save his precious sister Mipha. My poor, tormented Sidon. And to think he was unknowingly paralyzed from taking action because he feared losing me as well. Oh. Yet he has overcome this trial and placed his faith in me. At last, the Sidon I know and love has come back to me. <laughs> Link, please take care of my dear Sidon. He is the sun in my sky. Okay, so yeah, that was something. I feel like it got a bit personal and we were just there to witness it. But yeah, it's good Sidon has come back to his usual self. I mean, he did require a little whipping from, uh, you know, his fiance, but it did the job and now he's ready to do what he needs to do. So yeah, let's go ahead and make our way to Sidon as we slowly head up. And as you can see, it looks like Yona is going to resume with the other Zora as they continue to purify the water from the sludge. I, I really like the way that looks and overall that concept of how the Zora are literally cleansing the water. But um, yeah, let's now focus on the main objective at hand, and that is to reach the Pillar of Light with Sidon and get to the bottom of it, or rather the top of it as it leads to the sky. But believe it or not, we're actually going to go to the bottom first. That will all make sense soon. But for now, let's go ahead and reach the very top of the Mipha Core, as I just love this area. You know, we can look at the statue one more time. Um, really uh, crazy to think about as Mipha literally made the Zora armor for Link as she wanted to one day marry Link. And yeah, now she's dead, but at least we're helping her brother and his fiance uh, get along and, you know, do their job at hand. So, okay, let's go ahead and make our way to Sidon. Yes, we're going to jump down. This is where the Divine Beast Varuta used to lie in Breath of the Wild, and now it is completely empty here in the East Reservoir Lake as Sidon is awaiting for us near the Pillar of Light. So let's go ahead and 
speak to him and continue on. Uh, overall, we're wrapping up the end of this mystery, but soon we'll figure out what everything is about. So here we go. Let's go ahead and speak to Sidon. So that is the clue for reaching the sky. Just now, what was that? Never mind. Now is not the time for flights of fancy. Just where could that light be coming from? I have an idea. Okay, it looks like Sidon is helping us out here by creating a whirlpool that will allow us to head to the bottom of where this light is shooting out of. That way we can really get to the bottom of it. So, okay, we'll let Sidon do his thing as we do ours and make our way into this water. And from here, we're actually going to find a secret that happens to be under the reservoir. Yeah, this is a really cool concept. And, um... I just love how it comes together. But okay, let's go ahead and get started. Um, as you can see, yeah, we want to reach the other side of this bridge, but it's all broken down. And yes, we're going to have to go ahead and get some water to fill up this area. So let's go ahead and pick up a rock and fuse it to one of our weapons. I'm just going to put it on the boomerang because I don't care for it. And then I want to go ahead and destroy this. Now, you can obviously use bombs, but I'm going to destroy them with a rock instead as... Uh, yeah, just in case you don't have bombs, you know, you're going to have to, like, reach each and every area manually and destroy them yourself, which is no big deal. But, okay, as you can see, now with the water all the way raised to the level we wanted it to be, we can continue onwards. Overall, this is a really cool concept, like I said, and, uh, yeah, we're going to figure out what this area is known as. As it is the, as you can see, we got a discovery... Ancient Zora Waterworks. Yes, and our goal is to reach that pillar of light, um, but you may notice that it's a bit high up. Obviously, there, there are easy ways to do this if we use like Zonai devices, but again, I'm going to show the method that is intended if you don't have the correct material or whatever. So let's just do this manually. I mean, it reminds me of the water temple, you know, slowly raising the water level. That's like a staple from, you know, water temple Zelda games. So, you know, it fits in this game as well. We get a little uh, reminiscent and something similar. I, I, I kind of like it to say the least, even though I know water temples are like the most dreaded uh, temples within the Zelda series. But luckily this one ain't so bad. Even leading up to it, it's pretty simple. So, okay, we were able to raise the water level up just a bit and now we're gonna continue doing so. And I love the architecture of this area, like um, the Zora have their own unique look compared to the Rito. All these ancient old artifacts and areas and yeah, I'm just loving the vibe, like this dark blue mossy nature of everything. It looks so dope. Um, it's more so damp than it is mossy. But okay, anyways, let's go ahead and destroy the next one. And as you can see, yes, um, you could have made a bridge if you wanted to or like a, a slanted bridge that you can just easily climb up across but I love using the recall method I don't know to me it's just such a cool concept how you can literally reverse the platform's movement from your ultra hand and then just have it elevate you upwards yeah if I can do that I will as long as there isn't an easier method but to me that is pretty much the easiest method but okay anyways let's go ahead and make our way there as the final uh, area we need to destroy to get the water flow all the way back in here and raise the water level to where it needs to be is within there but how are we going to get in there because as you can see it is very wet and damp within here so we wouldn't be able to climb things easily yes we have to enter this secret as this is like a uh well type thing that we have to kind of enter and 
It reminds me of the tunnels from uh, like Elden Ring for some reason. I really like this area here. It's, it's kind of weird, kind of creepy, but uh, it, it doesn't really last that long. So yeah, our goal is just to make our way to the center of it so we can find where um, the water flow is. And as you can see, we can see water here. Okay, so with that found, what we want to do is go ahead and ascend upwards because yes, clearly this is where the source of the water is. So let's go ahead and make our way up. And just like that, right behind us, yes, there happens to be the giant rock holding it all together. And there we go, the last bit of water that will completely rise all the water to the level we wanted it to be so we can reach the pillar of light that's in the center here. And again, I love how Link like barely just kind of, yeah, there you go, just wiggles himself and that's it. Even though the dude got an insane amount of water hitting his face and his entire body, he just, you know, shakes it off and he's good to go. But okay, so from here I want to ascend upwards because there was a hidden uh, cave way that actually leads to, yes, believe it or not, a bubble frog. I want to quickly get this as I guess this area considers itself a cave as well. Um, and yeah, the easiest way to get it is just to ascend from after completing the water levels and destroying all the rocks. But now let's go ahead and shield surf our way down because it is damp. Normally, you wouldn't be able to do this in a cave, but since it is so wet, look at the traction. I'm loving it. I'm literally skating. Um, it's so dope. But okay, okay. Now let's go ahead and make our way to where we need to go. We should have enough stamina to reach the center with ease, but I do remember there was a chest on the other side of the... Um, rock where we opened up the last bit of water to fill up this area and it's not really worth picking up but might as well just do it since we can easily reach it now that we have the water level much higher we can easily make our way to the side here and just like that open up this chest but sadly yeah it, it, obviously if i'm going to pick up the chest it will be worth it but this is an example of it not being worth it just an opal nothing too special um yeah, that's why I normally do ignore chests for those wondering. I'm only going to pick up the chests that are mandatory to 100% the game. Those aren't really. But anyways, okay, with that said and done, let's go ahead and make our way to the Pillar of Light, like I said. And as you can see, yes, there is a Zonai device behind it that we can activate. So let's examine it and see what happens. A waterfall? A waterfall descended from the sky? Link, what happened? Is this your doing? Aha, so you activated a mysterious device in the ruins. And then the waterfall appeared. Hmm. Ah, I believe I understand. To Azura, a waterfall is no different from a path. This must be the meaning behind Watery Bridge. Yes, it must. If we climb this waterfall, we shall ascend into the sky. Oh. Link, I knew you could do it. My belief in you is as well placed as ever. Hmm? Huh? It is happening again. Is someone calling to me? What was that sound I just heard? Well, in any case, we now have a path forward. All that is left is to press ever onward. With your Zora armor, you can climb the waterfall as well. Let us be off to our next adventure, Link.
All right, let's do exactly that as we're going to adventure with Sidon to the top of this waterfall. And thanks to the Zora armor, we should easily be able to, yes, swim all the way upwards. This is absolutely hilarious to watch as the amount of ground Link is covering just to reach the very top is insane. And well, here we are in the Wellspring Island. And as you may notice, Things are seeming a little bit floaty. Yes, we went from Super Mario Sunshine to Super Mario Galaxy. That's the vibe I'm getting. Like, we had the Sunshine Sludge that we had to deal with, and now we literally have the anti-gravity section, which is like Super Mario Galaxy. This game combines Zelda with Mario with everything. It's just so good. I, I love this concept here and how it works out. But yes, on this island, we can literally jump freely like so. Uh, and, you know, everything is just so light i love the concept here obviously it had something to do with the zonai of the past and how they were able to create this but yeah so let's go ahead and speak to sidon and see what we should do moving forward as we have now reached the top of the sky island what is this place my body it feels light as a feather this is a strange place indeed but right now we must focus on locating the source of the sludge link it is time to divide and conquer. Let's split up for the time being. Okay, so yeah, we can actually do this fun little quest with Sidon. It's a little bit different than with Tulin, how we were literally platforming uh, with his gust of wind. But here, all we really need to utilize is these weird orbs of water that shoot out. And obviously the anti-gravity that are helping the water kind of float as well as us to float essentially and uh while we can use the water here to slowly navigate ourselves let's get platforming let's get that mario galaxy vibe going as a literally yeah all i could do is just go ahead and jump around like so you don't even have to mess with the orbs of water as you can see link is able to easily jump each uh in every you know platform with ease he's able to make it it's so simple and yeah let's just continue on our goal is to reach the source of the sludge of course and that is at the very top of the set of uh islands that are within the sky and yeah our goal is just to essentially make our way there so let's just enjoy the ride as all i want to do is just jump around like this to me this is so fun i don't even have to mess with the sludge as they kind of work as obstacle points but here i do need to get rid of the sludge as uh, it will actually let this waterfall start shooting down from here and if you actually swim on the waterfall with the anti-gravity you're able to get a huge boost in the air that will let you just yeah glide to another waterfall and then immediately launch yourself up and this is pretty much how we're gonna make it work we're using these waterfalls to launch ourselves upwards and then continue onwards. So our goal, instead of reaching there actually, let's go ahead and reach the shrine first. Really easy to do so, as you can see. We just go from one waterfall to the other, and just like that, we have made it to the shrine. It will kind of serve as a checkpoint if we wanna come back here, as well as, you know, a shrine reward to say the least. So let's go ahead and take it on and see what lies within it. So this shrine isn't a reward per se, but it will give us a better understanding of how the water orbs work, as this is the Orbs of Water Shrine. And as you can see, yeah, we got them dispensing from these weird vents here that we can find all throughout the Sky Islands as well. So our goal is just to ride it. Um, as you can tell as well, the anti-gravity um, is also working within this shrine as we're going to need it to utilize these orbs of light and overall I uh, just complete the shrine but as you can see with this orb of light yes we're able to catch the chest from falling pretty simply and easily and then open it up I mean it's not important of course but might as well pick it up and uh, move on because I do like the way it's meant to be solved but okay so from here what we want to do is wait for this ball of water or orb of water as the game refers to it as uh and then reverse its movement to make our way back up yes recall is going to come in handy with these as we can literally reverse its momentum and be able to head to areas we weren't able to now what i want to do is ride this orb of water 
just like so. Th th to me, this is so weird. And it, well, all, outside of like the anti-gravity part that reminds me of Super Mario Galaxy, it's also like just these orbs of water. They remind me of like those weird orbs that you would pull Mario onto with the motion controls with your Luma. Um, I don't know why I get that vibe as well. But okay, what we want to do here is, as you can see, yeah. The orbs of water need to now uh, bring us to the very end of the shrine. And believe it or not, with the anti-gravity working, as long as they are nudged the right direction, like with this tilt that we have created here, uh, this ramp here should work perfectly to then launch us to our destination, that being the very end of the shrine. As you can see, yeah, once it picks up a little momentum, it just continues rolling, which is hilarious. And just like that, we're able to reach the end of the shrine and complete this. I, again, I love the way the anti-gravity section works. Uh, they're not just throughout this area within the game, don't worry. There are many other areas that we'll find that utilize this, which I love. But anyways, with that done, let's go ahead and make our way back and continue on with our adventure with Sidon. So luckily, making our way to the desired destination won't actually take that long as the Wellspring Island is pretty small to say the least. So as you can see, there's a lot of wings uh, throughout here. So might as well put one to use. We just want to go ahead and drop it in front of this giant piston here and then have it launch us. Luckily, since it is anti-gravity, if we go ahead and click it, it will actually take a second for the pistons to kind of... Uh, yeah, uh, align itself perfectly to then launch us, which is pretty nice. So I didn't have to waste an arrow doing so. But there we go. Let's go ahead and jump. I mean, you really didn't need the wing with how you're able to just kind of flow around. But still, uh, I, I love utilizing it. And if the game gave it to us, might as well. But okay, let's go ahead and just jump away. And as you can see, yeah, this waterfall here, we want to continue on. Uh, well, I could take on the enemies. We're going to be forced to take one on later on. And uh, fighting them in the anti-gravity is a bit weird and funny to me. I, I don't enjoy it too much as, uh, yeah, it can get a bit jarring having to like just float around and try to attack things. So we're just gonna ignore the enemies and continue heading upwards by using these waterfalls, not bad. And uh, yeah, we're slowly reaching the final stretch of this. Again, I love how this is somewhat similar to how we reached the Wind Temple with Tulin but it utilizes a different mechanic, that being the Zora armor and the anti-gravity. Sadly, Sidon doesn't really accompany us, but don't worry, he will accompany us at the final destination of this. But okay, let's go ahead and quickly use recall here as we can get into this orb of water and have it, uh, yeah, slowly recall its way back to where it was uh, shot out of, that being the vent that's on the other side here on this island. So not bad, we were able to easily reach it. And now, what we need to do is do something similar to what we did in the shrine. That being, create a ramp for the orb of light to launch us upwards. So, let's see if I could do this in time before an orb of light, or orb of water. My bad. I'm calling them orb of lights. I'm thinking of the light of blessings. Okay. The, uh, the orb of water, I want to make sure... There we go. I knew it was right behind me. Um, I want to make sure I have that slanted and ready to go as this ramp will cause this orb of water to slowly launch ourselves upwards. And that way we can reach this um, island here, which has one more ramp for us to then make our way to where Sidon is. And actually, let's go ahead and throw a splash fruit here. Uh, you want to be careful with how you throw them. Don't toss them high up as it will continue to float with the intergravity. So you want to be really precise when tossing a splash fruit or really throwing anything within here. But okay, so as you can see, there are more wings. We're going to create ourselves another Zonai vehicle with all the Zonai devices that happen to be throughout here. Pretty nice and handy. Uh, all I really need is a fan on one of these uh, wings and might as well attach a set of wheels just to make sure it moves. Um, but, you know, the wheels aren't really necessary if you can get it moving. Uh, though, yeah, if you just attach a fan without the wheels, it won't move on the ground. It has to already be near the air or on a launch pad. But as you can see, this isn't really a launch pad. It's just a ramp upwards. And we're going to go ahead and ride it upwards as we're going to make our way to the final stretch of this uh, journey here in the Wellspring Island. So all we need to do is, yes, let it take us forward just like that. I like how it just starts flying immediately, which is so cool because of the anti-gravity. We didn't really need the ramp. But as you can see, yes, Sidon was on the other side, and we have now reached him. Let me move. <laughs> yeah, this is, the plane is going to continue going. I don't care for that. But now let's go ahead and speak to Sidon and see what's up. Hmm. This really is such a strange place. 
My body felt light as air, allowing me to soar surprisingly high when I was climbing the waterfalls. As we are in an unfamiliar place, let us proceed with caution, Link. Please take care as you forge ahead. But okay, now we finally team up with Sidon and we can utilize him for this battle up ahead as there happens to be a mighty construct soldier that we got to take on. So let's go ahead and do this with Sidon by our side and Tulin, which is pretty nice. Uh, while I could have used Tulin's Gust of Wind to make traversing this area a lot easier, I didn't want to because I only wanted to utilize what the game provided me without uh, the help of Tulin. But um, yeah, in battle, he's going to help us out no matter what. And as you can see, dodging this Construct's attacks are super easy because of the anti-gravity. Let's go ahead and chuck this at him. It was about to break anyways, but I guess it's Sidon blocked it and now it's coming back to me. That was a bit weird. Whatever, let's just go ahead and use a stronger weapon and let's just attack from up here so we get headshots without it being able to hit us. But there we go. Now let's end off this battle. Okay, I missed because of the anti-gravity. Uh, let's just go ahead and move and finish him off like so. But there we go. Now we have completed it and now we can see what lies ahead. <laughs> done and done. Link, let us keep pushing forward. All right, with that done, we are literally at the final stretch, as mentioned. But first, let me pick up this strong Zonite sword, as yes, it was dropped by the uh, construct we just defeated. And if I go ahead and pick it up and merge it to my Royal Claymore, I'll be able to hold the Claymore with just one hand and give it a huge amount more of damage, as you can see by merging it. Yeah, pretty badass. I love how the Zonite swords work. But anyways, with that said and done, like I said, we have reached the final stretch as, yes, the water temple awaits for us. So let's go ahead and speak to Sidon and see what he has to say. Hmm. From what I can tell, all of the sludge waterfalls are flowing from the ruins above here. In other words, if there is a source for the sludge somewhere, it must be. Link, once you are amply prepared, let us dive right in. All right, I'm ready. So, right, the time has finally arrived. Off we go. Okay, and Sidon takes the lead, but we're going to be right behind him as let's jump straight into this waterfall. And like I said, the water temple awaits. So this is the beginning of the water temple. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like and join me next time as we take on the temple with Sidon. That being the water temple here we go